guys time is ticking we've got 16 hours and 28 minutes at the time of recording this video for this candle to close either green or red in this video we are going to try to find out what is going to happen in the next let's say 15 hours and we are going to see what is going on in the market so if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and a quick disclaimer that this video is not a financial advice and now guys let's have a look at a little time frame firstly all right so let's actually switch to the two hourly time frame so what we are experiencing at the moment is that the stochastic rsi is basically reaching the ceiling meaning that we could experience a little push towards the downside for caspa so i do believe that the first technical level of support is probably going to be here this short level of support well probably we've got confirmations in here as well all right so if that is going to happen on a two hourly time frame at the time of recording this video we are going to see a little dump towards well two percent 2.6 percent for caspa so i don't think that this is something very big to be worried about now let's have a look at four hourly time frame so from the standpoint of four hourly time frame guys we do have upward move for caspa as i'm mentioning on every single video at the moment all right and we are still being supported by this upward trend line all right for caspa no matter how you cut it right we are being supported right either from this wig or from that one right so that is still looking all right and now ladies and gents what we really want to see well on a smaller time frame on four hourly let's say and a daily of course if we are going to break above this level of resistance which is at 18 cents so that is definitely going to be a much better sign for caspa and stochastic rsi on four hourly time frame is showing us that move towards the upside so that is all right let's have a look at the daily time frame so guys if it comes to the daily time frame all right we have properly bottomed out for well caspa right and now this blue line is going towards the downward move okay so we could technically see this right that is a great question if we are going to see another retest i don't think that this is going to happen but heck everything is possible however everything is still going according to the plan if we are going to actually zoom out you know this chart for caspa you know we are printing higher highs and as i was mentioning in well very very previous updates is that caspa is basically going towards of this direction let me zoom it in zoom it out a little bit and let me move so we have reached this high well all-time highs in november 2023 then all-time highs in february 2024 and hopefully sooner or later we are going to see these price levels and caspa finally touching this zone of let's say 28 cents or even more all right now let's have a look at the weekly time frame guys because obviously that's something very important that we do have to monitor caspa bulls are trying to maintain the price above this level 16 cents let's see what is going to happen we do have to monitor this candle so i am going to repeat guys if this candle is going to close green that is definitely going to be a much bigger bullish momentum for caspa uh, from the standpoint of technicals of course however if it's going to close red i don't think that this is something to be you know worried about right because yes short term that could potentially spark some panic on the market for normies but i don't think that long term this is something big right because again you know everything is still going according to the plan for caspa all right so now guys let's have a look at a couple of different metrics all right starting from the dashboard right we are sitting at 92 if it comes to current word the next one is going to be 87 next reaction is scheduled in 24 days and we are sitting at 85 percent mind hash rate is sitting at 760 peta hash per second and all-time highs are sitting above 800 guys this is huge this is something that i mentioned about in the previous update and we actually closed above 800 for hash rate that is great guys now let's have a look at the liquidity for BTC so even if short term might look not necessarily juicy if you guys are going to look at the three daily chart for Binance heat map we do have significant levels of liquidity above the trading price and sooner or later we are going to gear up towards the upside so I believe that this is you know bullish short term and now looking at ETF flows we've got 89.7 million of outflows for BTC and looking at Ethereum guys we don't have a lot right we've got 
million dollars of outflows and now guys for now this is a rumor but after russia now china will unban bitcoin and crypto by the end of this year guys if that is going to happen and this cycle potentially can be very juicy mr crypto rover is letting us know that altcoins are undervalued at the moment meaning that this is the best time to buy altcoins when they are undervalued all right and but funny enough is that many people are not interested into altcoins at the moment and they are going to be interested in altcoins here and with that information i'm pretty sure you know what to do now shout out to mr prof and this is total crypto market cap that is excluding top 10 dominance so he's saying that the last time some of his macro charts looked invalidated we saw a strong recovery within a very strong time COVID crash and ftx crash by the way altcoins touched the 0.75 line in the mayor multiple like in 2020 and 2023 both times it was a bottom range so guys 2020 that was a bottom range as he said just now right and we saw a huge pump towards the upside if it comes to dominance then in 2023 the same case and in 2024 we hit that as well so guys let's see how that is going to play out because if the history is going to repeat we could see pumps towards the upside for overall crypto market well, based on the technicals, of course, and that is a monthly chart for BTC, according to Mr. Max. He's saying that many people might say that Bitcoin is struggling when looking at the lower time frames. However, the long term view still looks promising. On the monthly chart, the price hasn't closed below the 60,000 support level. Every time the price dips below $60,000, it quickly pumps back above it. Overall price is still consolidating above the all time high. The LTF drops below support might be traps before the price starts pumping again. Until then, don't get shaken out. Guys, so these times well in my opinion just like in his opinion are the best times to scoop up btc right because that is going to reverse at some point right so people that are being shaken out are there are people that believe that they can make life-changing gains within a few days in crypto but i believe that this couldn't be further from truth and now have you noticed that btc has formed a double bottom below the daily 2ma line now we see a retest of the lower band of the Gaussian channel and the daily 200 EMA at the same time. Very strong signals if you ask him. He thinks that BTC is going higher very soon. Guys, so we are trading above that EMA and I do remind to everybody that this was something very important when we dipped in here. Hashtag best buying opportunity at all times just like in here and just like in here all right so i do believe that now we are bouncing back properly and we are retesting that you know bottom of that gaussian channel which changed red on a daily time frame but it changed red on a daily time frame as well and after that we saw a huge parabolic run for btc so is the history going to repeat again and now guys monthly chart for the whole crypto market according to mr pro He's saying that history doesn't repeat itself, but it often rhymes. The cycle for the total crypto market cap still looks very similar to the last one. Did you know that a descending broading wedge is currently forming below the 2021 resistance all-time high? They don't shake him out and they don't shake me out either. And this is very bullish, right? So guys, let's have a look what is happening. Well, maybe firstly, let's have a look what happened in the previous run. So that is a run between 2014 and 2018. Right, we had a double bottom in here. We had the first leg up, the retest, and then boom, right? Just like in here, all right? Then the first leg up, and then the proper retest of this zone as all time highs. And now we are basically gearing up towards this zone, just like we did in here. So once we are going to break all time highs in here, well, based on this chart, we could expect huge parabolic run just like we did in here let's see if that is going to repeat but that is a monthly chart so you have to remember that it takes some time now mr sensei is saying that we are flipping early and the huge bull run is programmed so guys the black line is basically in here and that is a bitcoin price performance since halving so we've got orange pink ish blue and green line that are basically representing to what happened after each halving event and this is basically what is happening at the moment guys right so i think we are very very early all right not mentioning about smaller caps like caspa all right because firstly btc is going to have to experience its cycle and after that 
medium to small caps are going to experience that money flow from BTC. Of course, the portion of it, my opinion, all right? So we are still early and I still do believe that every single dip here in Caspa is meant for buying, all right? Now, Mr. Anonymous is saying that he believes that we are finally about to leave the disbelief phase heading into Q4 this year. If you notice, 2025 will be a slow rise until we start to go parabolic around Q3, Q4. So guys, previous charts were basically signaling that this is where we are at at the moment, right? This final shakeout and then we are going to see the parabolic run. But what if we are in here? Let me know guys, what do you think in the comments down below? Do you think that we are just in this belief phase and this market is just starting or this is where we are at at the moment, right? I personally do believe that this is where we are at, but of course I could be wrong, right? But if I'm wrong in this case, because this means that we have a lot of time to go. That's it what I've got for you today. I hope that you have guys enjoyed and I wish you have a great day. Peace and love crypto.